Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2020, slot 1 DILR, says that there are 4 institutes ABCD. They had contracts with 4 vendors WXYZ during the 10 year calendar years from 2010 to 2019. So ABCD contract with WXYZ. The contracts were either multi year contract or uh, for several uh, running for several consecutive years or single year contracts. No institute had more than one contract with the same vendor. However, in a calendar year, an institute may have had contracts with multiple vendors and a vendor may have had contracts with multiple institutes. Okay, so one year they can have multiple vendors and similarly one vendor can serve multiple institutes. It is known that over the decade, the institutes each got two contracts with two of these vendors. So the institutes have two contracts with two of these vendors and each vendor got into two contracts with two institutes. So each vendor, two institutes and each institute, two vendors during this period. Okay. Now we are given some information about these vendors and institutes. Now the time span is 2010 to 2019. Now if you see through the information, first few statements that talk about vendor Z, at least one contract every year, okay, vendor X, year up to 2015, right, Y had contracts in 10 and 19, W had contracts only in 2012. Now, if you see the first three statements, we are given all information about the vendors. We are given that which vendor had contract in which year. So, we shall make a table like this. This is the year and these are the vendors. Now we will put this information. It says vendor Z had at least one contract every year. So this has one contract every year. The dot denotes that there will be one contract every year. X had one or more contracts every year up to 2015. So X will have up to 2015 but no contract beyond that. And Y had contracts in 2010 and 2019 and W had contracts only in 2012. Now see each uh, vendor has two institutes, right? So each vendor should be having contracts with two institutes. So if vendor W is having contract only in 2012, it means it should have contract with two institutes. Now vendors are done. Now we shall find out which are the institutes they are serving. It is given that there were five contracts in 2012. Okay, so five contracts here. Which five? These four are already known. There will be one more contract either with X or with Z. There were exactly four multi-year contracts. Institute B had a seven-year contract. D had a four-year contract. A and C had one three-year contract each. The other four contracts were single-year contracts. So there are four single year contracts and there are multi year contracts. B is having C seven year, D is having four year, okay, and A and C having three year contract each. Now one thing to note here is, like uh, Z is having ten or eleven years of contract, like ten years of contract. So that means uh, Z can have only two contracts. So B will go with Z. Okay. Now, one thing we need to think of is like, would it be three or can it be four also? And if you see X, uh, X has total six. So X can have like three and three. If you take X three and three, that is possible, right? Another possibility is like, if you give X three and three, then what will happen to do it? Uh, what will happen to Z? It would be seven and four and there will be one overlap, right? In this case, there is three and three. And there is another scenario in which it will have seven and three year contract and it will have once three year contract and four year contract with one year overlapping with two vendors. So these are the two cases that we know. So Z is definitely with B, okay? Now we will see next ones. It says Institute C had one or more contracts in 2012, but none in 2011. So C had 
Okay, another thing to consider here is uh, before we find B, uh, B and C that there are five contracts in 2012. Okay, so let us find out how can we have five contracts. If we give, let us say, talking about the first case, if we give three, three, so this will be one vendor, this second will be another vendor. And then in that case, we should have seven and four. Seven and four means we should have a four year contract like this. Or if you have a seven year contract, that is also fine. So if you take a seven year contract like this, the overlap will happen in this year because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you should have four years. Okay, no gap in between. So overlap will happen in 2016. So in that case, there will be only four contracts here. If you say the overlap happens here, either the overlap will happen here or here, like four years and seven years. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we we do, we are not having any overlap in 2012. So it means that this year, this case is not possible, three and three. So we should have three and four and seven and three. So three and four means that one of the persons should be D and if 3 and 4 is happening, so we should have a 3 year contract and a 4 year contract like this. Okay, so 3 and 4 year contract that means there are 2 contracts in 2012. Now if there are 2 contracts in 2012 and there is a 4 year contract out of this, so the 4 year contract starts from 2012 and goes on till 2015. So that means D is with X from 2012 to 2015. So D is there. So we are done with D. Now it has to be A or C as the other contract and we need to find the contracts for Z as well. Now we will go to the second uh, last point which says that Institute C had one or more contracts in 2012 but none in 2011. Now C is not having any contract in 2011. So we are saying that either A or C will come here, but C is not having contract in 2011. So that means this contract is by A. So A will have contract here. And then C will have, C is not having a contract here. Now C has single year contracts also. Okay, that single year contract will happen here because C is having a contract in 2012. So it has to have a multi year and a single year. Now the next thing is institutes B and D each had exactly one contract in 2012. Now B and D have one contract. So B, D will get only one contract and D did not have any contract in 2010. So D that is already used like D is not having any contract in 2010. Now D has to have a single year contract also. Okay. D we know the multi year contract and there is a single contract also. Single contract is not happening in 2010. So this will be of institute D. Now we have to put B and B and C in this. We need to put B and C in Z. Now C is not having in 2011. So we should have B in the beginning. So for the first seven years, we will have contract with B and last three years with C. Okay, so B and C that is done. Right, so we are done with these multi year contracts. Now we are left with single contracts. One contract is of uh, A and another is of B. And uh, if we are given that B and D had one contract in 2012, so B cannot have a contract here, it should be A and B will have a contract in 2010. So this is how we are going to fill the complete table filling all the years and the contracts. Which of the following years were two or more contracts? Okay, so two or more contracts happened in out of these years if we talk about 2018, 17, 16 or 15. So if we see in 2015, there were multiple contracts out of the given years. 
which of the following is true d had a contract with y in 2019 d had a contract with x in 2011 first is false second is also false b had a contract with z in 2017 D had a contract with Y in 2019. That is true. In how many years during this period was there only one contract? Okay, so only one contract happens in these three years, 2016 to 2018. What best can be concluded about the number of contracts in 2010? So if we talk about 2010, there are three contracts. So exactly three contracts. Which institutes had multiple contracts during the same year? So, if we see, A has multiple contracts during the same year. Similarly, B also had multiple contracts during the same year. So, A and B only. Which institutes and vendors had more than one contract in any year? So, uh, we saw that uh, A had multiple contracts and B had multiple contracts. So, we choose the option with A and B. And similarly, if we talk about the institutes, institutes, uh, institutes A and B have multiple contracts. And if we talk about the vendors, vendors are W and X with multiple contracts in the same year. So A B W X. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.